Hey guys, good to be back with you again. Happy Sunday once again. And um, I've done a little bit of uh, looking back here at old notes that I've made on uh, potential college football realignment. And while I was looking at this, I was reminded of a problem that's pretty interesting. And I thought this is probably something that's worth um, talking about first uh, before uh, we go any further down what uh, sort of uh, divisions or leagues or whatever we can make. There is a geographic problem with uh, big-time college football um, and small-time college football, uh, for that uh, matter, in the United States. And as soon as you look at the maps, if you haven't seen this before, you'll uh, figure it out right away. Now, a couple of caveats here. First of all, I should introduce, if you haven't watched earlier videos, if you haven't like kind of followed what's going on, we're looking at creating some sort of system that allows us to take uh, the 2023 college football season and redo it but make it more interesting right we want to do a project with action pc football but we don't want to do like a replay project where we take some big team and they have like two throwaway games at the beginning of the season and then finally things start and then they have one game against the division rivals and then we have to figure out some sort of ranking system and we have a 14 playoff and all that stuff to me, this is not that interesting. I look at this and I think, okay, you have a whole ton of these teams. Let's get ourselves down to something more manageable. We could have maybe 64 teams total. Let's do, uh, I was thinking like eight divisions around the country geographically aligned so that uh, geography makes a difference and makes sense again in college football. Um, and then we could have it, heck, we could have it so that every team plays 14 games. You play home and away against the seven other teams in your division, right? So that way, if you're on on the road in your big rivalry game, right? If uh, Ohio State, Michigan is in Michigan instead of in Ohio State, right? Michigan doesn't then automatically have this major advantage when it comes to winning the division, right? Uh, they have to play each other twice. That's, that's sort of the thinking that I have uh, behind this. And I think it would make a product that may be a little bit more interesting, at the very least for those of us who just want to replay stuff and want to sort of have uh, some fun with it. So um, that's what we're looking at doing. But we're not going to get that into the details today because there's a fundamental problem that we kind of have to um, address first. Now, I will also tell you, as I was looking back at this, I was reminded of a couple of things. First of all, it is impossible to make it perfect. Perfect doesn't exist, right? We're going to sort of pick and choose, and uh, we're going to have to get rid of a bunch of teams because we want to go down to 64. I don't want to do a project with like 128 teams or whatever, though it's doable. It gets to the point where there's so much going on that it's overwhelming and that, you know, you it, you sort of lose the ability to kind of keep track of everything that's happening, right? So we want it to be doable. We want it to be interesting, right? We don't want to have a whole bunch of uninteresting teams in the project that we don't really care about. And that means that it's going to be really rough to keep it perfect. And problem number two is that there are going to be people who will be upset. There'll be stuff like decisions we have to make that are not going to be popular. So we'll just make the decisions that are unpopular. I mean, there's no way around it. I'm not going to be able to have some perfect formula to make everybody happy. Now, let me show you the reason why. So uh, we'll look over here at the screen. There we go. And look at that. I fit right uh, nicely on the uh, right side of the screen. How about that? This is a map from Wikipedia. Um, this is nothing secret. This is nothing like, oh, somebody came up with some crazy thing or whatever. No, I just Googled this and came up with this map. This is the FBS programs. And uh, for the sake of uh, just knowing them here, are the FCS programs. Now, I kind of wanted to have these like um, aligned on top of each other. I, I'm not going to put that much time into it and figure it out. If you just look at this, though, at a glance, you can see see what the problem is, right? The big problem that we have is not, is it feasible, is it not feasible, whatever. No, it's how do you divide up the country, right? Ideally, you want to have it so that somehow you have, you know, I don't know, eight different divisions of eight teams each, and then the winners of the divisions, right? I hate wildcard teams, so you have to finish first place. The teams in first place then go into some sort of playoff. But for that to make sense, we have to somehow divide up the country, and uh, the first problem you see here is, well, if you do the obvious thing, which is West versus East, does it really make sense? What is West and what is East, right? And so if you look um, here, of course, uh, I'm, I'm backwards, aren't I? If you look over here on this side, on the West side of the country, um, you'll notice that, uh, I mean, let's just say that you call this your dividing line here and you consider Texas to be in the East. Well, you have a problem, right? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 teams if you count UTEP. You don't even have 32 teams if you make the uh, demarcation line right here, 
right? And uh, so that's kind of an issue, right, isn't it? You don't have enough teams over here to make this part the west and this part the east. You'd have to draw the line right here, which is not really such a bad idea, except you're kind of cutting off natural rivalries already. So Kansas can't play against Missouri, which is something that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, right? That would allow Nebraska and Colorado to play each other. Of course, Nebraska was not particularly good last year and haven't been good for a while, right? Now, you theoretically could do a West versus East thing if you make the uh, dividing line right here. But even then, when you're sort of looking just at the West, don't worry about the East yet. When you just look at the West, you can see what the big problem is. The big problem, as I see it, is you have this huge chunk of territory up here with nothing. Right, and that's the issue. Because when it comes down to creating different divisions, if you want to be geographic about it, right, just to say that we do west versus east and you make the line right here, you run into this problem where, okay, well, we can have Texas, we could even have Texas and Oklahoma teams together, right? We could just pick six teams from Texas and put in Oklahoma State and Oklahoma and talk, call it good, right? And then we run into this problem up here, right? If you want to have a northwest quadrant, Right, you run out of teams really, really quickly because you only have four teams up here. And of those four teams, I mean, Washington State and Oregon State were pretty good this most recent season. But if you're looking at past seasons, you're going to have years where they amount to nothing or where you're like, why do I even have these teams here? Let, if you really care about rivalries, let Washington and Oregon be the rival and have them play against like some good teams instead of playing against teams that are not so wonderful, right? And this is really where the problem comes, no matter how you slice it. You don't really have enough um, teams. Uh, at least FBS teams in California to uh, have a complete division to themselves. And you got the Hawaii problem, right? So you could do seven California teams in Hawaii together, uh, but then you run into this other geographic issue, right? So who plays with these teams, right? Maybe Boise State, right? And then you're going to switch, you're going to stretch all the way out to Wyoming and then. Like I did one version of this where we were stretching all the way out here to like Minnesota and stuff. And so like there's one division up here somewhere. There's a second that covers like Hawaii. Um, and then what? And then like you have the Utah teams and then some Nevada teams, Arizona and Arizona State and somebody else for a third. And I, I, I mean, this is the problem you run into. You run out of teams like right away. No matter how I look at it, you run out of teams. Now, you could, if you wanted to, and I've had people tell me you should do this, you could go into the FCS. I saw I was on Twitter the other day, somebody saying that the best FCS teams could beat um, uh, uh, good FBS teams if they were getting the, given the chance. And you can say, okay, well, fine. You know, we'll go over here. We'll get, uh, was it South Dakota, South Dakota State, right? Didn't, aren't they the ones that uh, just advanced to the final? I'm sorry, I don't follow this as close as I probably should right so you could take them and move them over you could take over like montana state or even like eastern washington or something and move them over into like this type of uh, division but that might turn into a problem when we start looking at the east and thinking uh, about uh, fbs teams that we will have to drop uh because um, we have too many teams right so it's an issue if we do it west versus east we're always going to run into an issue again if we make the line of demarcation here it makes a little bit more sense but we might run out of certain rivalries that might be interesting to hold on to and also if you're like me and you're kind of trying to visualize this you do have kind of a hard time visualizing you know uh, a division where like nebraska is like the outlier team and we're going from seattle to nebraska to lincoln and back you know and no other division in the entire country has to do that right so it's it's a problem it's a problematic thing the other idea that i had and this is the reason why i want to do this video i want to sort of run this by you guys and just sort of see what you guys think when i was looking at potentially doing this for 2022 was to divide the country instead of east versus west to divide it into north versus south now when i look at what's actually happening with realignment in college football i sort of see this happening to like a minor extent right you see a lot of teams that are kind of north teams that are sort of gathering around the uh, big 10 although i will say that you know usc is definitely not north by that um uh, definition and then you see uh you know the southeast uh, teams continue to sort of add on to the um, sec i thought about that a lot in terms of potential future sec expansion right so when you have the arizona schools you have utah now in the big uh, uh big 12 
and I mean, they need to change the names of these conferences, but so it is. In my idea, you probably would see at some point in time, like the Big Ten really expand. Um, you know, Notre Dame is the one they really want to add in and probably try to go after some of the northern um, ACC teams. The southern ACT, ACC teams eventually might go to the SEC. And eventually you probably see the SEC trying to move over into this type of territory, what is now Big Ten ter- or uh, Big 12 territory, right? To try to pull as much as they can from that TV market in. I mean, it's possible, right, to think of the country sort of in that sense. And so something that I came up with a while ago was to sort of uh, divide right around this line down here, maybe. Again, it's not perfect, right, because you end up calling, you know, whoever Louisville had a good team last this uh, past season, right? So Louisville becomes like a North team. I mean, maybe I live over here, right? Um, in this area, uh, we're not too far away from like, so James Madison had a good team. They become a North team, right? End up playing against like West Virginia, stuff like that. It kind of works. I kind of like that idea a little bit better. We just take all of California and arbitrarily call it South. Hawaii becomes South, right? And then instead of worrying so much about like making uh, the Utah Arizona thing fit together, we have Utah up. Uh, so the three Utah teams in Boise State up here with these four teams. That's a much better geographic uh, quadrant, in my um, opinion. You have something like a bunch of teams like around here looped together, and then you do have your Texas Oklahoma League, and then you know stuff like that. You can kind of like sort of finagle with it a little bit um, and make it so that uh, the pieces kind of fit in a little bit better that's kind of my idea right it's tricky one of the problems that we have when we do this is that you have a lot of you know big time college football teams that um, are around here in the midwest you have a whole bunch of teams in texas you've got more than eight teams here right which creates its own problem and then you have a lot of teams in florida but not quite enough to have just a florida um, division right so you're like okay what do you do with that i thought well it stick like lsu and i don't know like tulane or something over into this florida type division division. So that's basically the problem. That's kind of where things are in my mind at the moment, which is just sort of trying to figure out how to visualize it and the best way to sort of cut up the pie. I think that there are there is a good argument for doing an east-west kind of divide. There also is an argument for a north-south divide. Now, either way that you do it, you're going to wind up with like weird stuff. You'll wind up with teams that probably should be in the other league or in the other division or however we're going to do this. And then there's a final problem that we come up with, and then I'll uh, shut up a little bit, which is the north uh, northeast part of the country, right? Um, I mean, as much fun as it is to watch like UMass and UConn in basketball, if I'm going to do like a major college football thing, we're not going to do UMass and UConn. Army, Navy, I can like understand, right? But uh, we're not going to do UMass and UConn. We're not going to do a bunch of teams that are just going to get slaughtered, right? We don't want to do that. We don't want Rugters to be in it because they're going to get slaughtered, right? One of the ideas that I've had, not necessarily for modern seasons you could throw them in for fun but definitely for older seasons when you're looking at the 80s and before is to uh, go over and grab like Yale and Harvard and uh, whatever whoever was good among the Ivy League schools and sort of stick them in with like Boston College and and Penn State and Pitt and whatever and just sort of see what happens right so you have at least some sort of representation from the northeast part of the country and I mean we're sort of drifting away from like the theory of action PC football here and we're getting into you know like um the actual uh I don't know, the strange historical reality of what college football is, right? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that, you know, college football has developed in a way that uh, means that, uh, you know, there's like no team in New York City, right? And that like the Northeast part of the country is basically like not covered. It's all FCS stuff up there that uh, I hate to say it, but that nobody's really paying much attention to, right? So, I mean, it's kind of an issue. It's funny, of course, and the reason why I say you want to keep it in mind for when you're doing older seasons because my my grandfather went to Yale back in the 1940s and uh, he used to tell stories about you know great uh, college football games between you know Yale and Harvard and Yale and the other Ivy League schools and the worst part about it is that uh, they had a much larger attendance back in those days and there was a lot more attention paid to the teams back then these days nobody seems to notice no one cares I don't know who won the Ivy League uh, most recently so anyway interesting thing to think about kind of want to ask you guys what do you think 
does uh, east-west uh, division make more sense or does it make more sense to do sort of a north-south thing? Um, and also, you know, I mean, is it too risky to be like, hey, let's throw some uh, FCS teams in there for good measure? Should we keep it just FBS only, right? And I mean, while we're talking about things that are interesting, like, you know, what do we do with like the MBC teams? Do we like throw a couple in for good measure just for fun? You know, uh, what about the AAC, you know, and stuff like that? I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool because really it's like we're painting on a completely blank canvas. We can do whatever it is that we want, right? We don't get a grade for this at the end. We could try something and come up with some fancy, you know, scheme or whatever and give it a try and it doesn't work. It doesn't matter. We won't get an F, you know, we just had fun trying to do it. So let me know down below what you think and uh, yeah, talk to you later. Bye.